Event Monitor in Moodle 2.8. With this new feature, it's possible to select certain events you'd like to monitor, such as when a new course is created or students post in a forum. You can subscribe to events and receive notification after a specified time. We're in a course here as a teacher in a Moodle 2.8 site with event monitoring enabled. And so if we go to Course Administration, Reports, Event Monitoring Rules, we can view events which have already been created in the system or courses we have access to, and where permitted, we can manage, duplicate or delete them. And this is the place to add a new rule. We want to know whenever a student adds a new entry to our course glossary. So we give it a name. We then select from the drop down an area to monitor, glossary in our example. And once the area has been chosen, then the events relating to it become available in the next drop down. So this is where we choose Entry Created. A description is helpful for other colleagues who might subscribe. Notification threshold means how many times in what period the event should occur before we get notified. So this would be once in one minute or once in 30 minutes, for example. Finally, the notification message is the text you see when you're notified. So for us, this would be the message to say a student has added an entry to our glossary. The help icon gives more information. You have to enter something here, but it can be any text you like, or you can use placeholders, which will be replaced with details specific to your event monitoring rule. Placeholders are highlighted here in this example. So let's now save and subscribe to the rule. We can subscribe by clicking the link or by following the same link in our profile settings. On this screen, we can subscribe or unsubscribe to any other available events. And when we subscribe to our Glossary Entries event, we can choose between our specific course glossary or any glossaries. Now, once a student creates an entry in our course glossary, subscribers will be notified. So finally, if we go to our email inbox, we can see the format of that notification message and see how those placeholders work. And clicking the link takes us directly to the glossary entry created.